Joining me this morning is Carol Husak from Schmung Volunteer Action Corps. Thanks as always for coming in. You're welcome. Thanks for the time. Yeah, and uh, we have some great volunteer opportunities, ways to give back to the community as always. And we're starting with some animal clinics. I'm an animal lover, so you have my interest. Uh, what does this entail and, and what dates are available? Got to use the glasses for this. Um, <laughs> Go right ahead. It's called a voice for all animals. And um, the woman who runs this um, basically does a lot of it herself. And she relies a lot on, on volunteers. She's going to have some animal clinics coming up at Bradley Farms okay. on the south side. Um, and these are low cost immunizations. So on April 24th, that's a cat day. Mm. And on May 4th, it's a doggy day. So um, April 24th for cats, May 4th over at Bradley Farms. Um, and this is, that's directly helping with the animals, correct? I'm not sure, yes. Um, she has a lot of things that people could do. They could go down, walk the animals, okay. feed them, groom them, uh, help clean the kennels and whatnot. So um, nice. it's a different kind of an operation down there. Okay. Um, women, if you want to get out and learn how to build and get some construction skills, the third annual Women Build 2016 put on by Habitat for Humanity is coming up. That's going to be on May 7th from 9 to 4. It's a full day of hands-on. Uh, the location is going to be determined on that one, but good opportunity to go out there and see what you can do and learn some new skills. I hope Leanne's you. listening. Yeah, well, I hope I hope <laughs> a lot of women are listening. Um, I'm not too handy. Yeah, it's a great opportunity to, to just get out and, you know, hands-on and, and learn a few things. There's a lot of thing people, things people could do. Um, on their own. Yeah. And they just have to see how you do it. Right. And also, you wanted to mention National Volunteer Week all next week. So just another reason, if you don't have enough reasons already, to get out and, and help out in the community. I'm, I'm finalizing some numbers from 2015. And um, the volunteers that we work with are hundreds in number. And the the uh, hours they contributed last year, almost 100,000 hours. So when you translate that into dollars that organizations didn't have to pay. Yeah. Um, the financial impact is huge, but the impact on people is tremendous also. And uh, we're over in the Human Resource Center building, the old Southside High School, and uh, our phone number, you can use 734-4453 or 734-4161. We'd be glad to talk to you about volunteering. Yeah, and you mentioned just the effect that you have on people. Um, I just want to mention really quickly, Leanne and I, we always have you come on once a month um, to talk about these volunteer opportunities. We finally got the chance to volunteer ourselves and kind of see uh, you know, the impact that you really can have. We got to read to a great group of fourth graders and uh, we learned as much from them as they did from us. So it, it really is um, a give and take both ways. That Ag Literacy Week um, had record numbers this year too. They awesome. had, uh, I think, 1,500 children heard that story um, and linking apple growing to your food system. And it was, thank you. Thank you both. for. Oh, well, thank you for having us. And thank you for coming in, as always. Yeah.